What's up guys, hope you are doing well there. You have come to the right place to learn many things including tutorials, tech reviews, motivation and many other stuff. So if you want more, subscribe and ring the bell. Let's get started. My name is Leenath and welcome to my YouTube channel Seek Show. During this tutorial, give me your feedback questions in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like or dislike for this video. Ok, I will use ArcMap 10.1 software for this tutorial. If you need more tutorial from basics to complex, please check the card now showing in the top left corner in this video. Here I will use Landsat 7 satellite image for this tutorial. I will use, I will show you how to extract a water body from a satellite image. I will use Landsat 7 satellite image for this tutorial. Here I am adding the Landsat 7. If you have basics, you can understand this is the Landsat 7 satellite image. But here we will use only a single layer classification called image classification called single band classification in other names density slicing so for this exercise we need only band 4 you can double click the satellite image and select the layer 4 or band 4 hope you have an understanding of this about these layers band 4 is a term, uh, infrared band infrared band so infrared layer click and add you can see the difference this is the satellite image with combination of seven bands and when we turn on this layer 4 or band 4 only band 4 you can see in this manner infrared band so when it comes to landsat 7 you will have to select infrared band as the band 4 or layer band 5 or layer 5 so today we are using landsat 7 band so we have we have added layer 4 or band 4 for this purpose so we don't want this satellite image for now okay right what we have to do go to properties of this layer band 4 layer 4 you can do a simple classification go to properties will take some time it depends on your laptop performance or desktop performance go to classified classification here this one symbology under the symbology classified and you can click classify classification method equal interval we want only two classes you can select two classes you can see the values 67 and 131 you can adjust you can see the graph here you can adjust up to here 36 okay right you can manually enter 36 here based, based on this graph and click ok apply right now you can see the water body Right when we untick this, this is the water body and the surrounding environment, trees or vegetation here. Now we are going to extract this water body as a shape file or raster file and we I have planned to show other tips during this tutorial. But you have to uh, do generally. Okay right. Now what we have to do, we have to use a reclassification tool. For that you can go to your arc toolbox here hope you have a basic understanding of this arc map software if you don't know please go to the playlists of my channel seek show you can find many other different tutorials of this uh, about this software okay right so what you have to do you have to find reclassification tool to find that go to special analyst reclass and you can find reclassify double click and open the tool
add your layer layer 4 now we are going to make this classification a per, as a permanent one only we we need we need only two values that means one value for the water body the other value for the vegetation right we are going to extract this water body right only water body here still we have two values right water body in the black color and in the white color you can see the vegetation right it's, it's still this is a raster file so we are going to reclassify as field as value let go to classify here same as previous equal interval set the classification method as equal interval and we need only two classes because we are going to extract two things vegetation and the we are going to separate two things the water body and the vegetation set it as 36 breaking value click ok here you can see 3 to 36 new value 1 36 to 100, 131 value 2 output raster location you can set give a name I will give it as reclass1 dot img remember to give the extension here click save and you can click ok let's see the output right we got the output ultimately we have received only two values this is value 1 and this is value 2 now we this is still this is a raster file you can see the extension dot img or dot tiff this is a raster file now what we have to do we have to convert this raster file into a shape file to do that we have to find raster to polygon no go to your conversion tools in the arc toolbox from uh, to shape file sorry you have to i will give it a search to get you can uh, use the search toolbox raster to polygon right this is the conversion tool raster to polygon conversion now we are going to convert this raster file into a polygon right this is the tool converts a raster data set into a polygon features click here and add your real class 1 image and save it here raster in this name i'm going to copy and paste here save we don't want to give an extension give an extension it will automatically take save file i'm going to untick this one simplify polygon i will explain it later okay click ok then let's see the output okay right finally we got the output i will i have named it raster t image 2 so you can see the difference now this has become a shape file well, now what we have to do you can open the attribute table this is shape file now you can see the grid code 1 and 2 here so based on grid code go to properties in the shape file categories grid code and add all values you can set this color as dark blue and color 2 as Now you can see the extracted water body here right so i will give you an additional tip you can see the boundaries of this water body is somewhat rough so you can make them smooth so you can use smooth polygon tool go to search 
type smooth polygon click this link open the tool you can see the description here what this tool does add your shape file I will set smooth tolerance as 100 meters and give it the output location and click OK let's see the output I will show you the difference right now you may see some difference between these two I will pick and untick these things you can see some smoothness right in the corner sometimes this is how that tool works you can see the smooth okay right finally now we will extract from the water body you can use go to you can use the analysis tool and go to extract and select tool double click and open the select tool this is what this tool does your input feature should be the last output you got and the output location and your expression should be read code equal get unique values double click this your equation you want you can verify click ok verified apply ok let's see the output but ultimately we should receive only one single value extracted water body right and to untick all the things so this is the extracted water body you can change the color and in the uh, outlines you can see the extracted water body you can calculate using this attribute table you can add a new field if you want to calculate the area total area add field set it as float click ok you can calculate the geometry click yes square kilometers apply ok it has been calculated now you can again right click summarize this is an additional tip for you now i'm going to summarize read code here sum you need the sum of this uh, total area okay yes now we have received a table click and open the output summary table right so we have missed one thing we will do the same thing again open the attribute table click on this uh, summarize I right click summarize under the shape area you, you have to put the sum summation shape area click ok yes again now we have received the summation output table 2 you can read you can find the total area right click and go to statistic you can see the sum of the area right other than these things I will show you one more thing I'm going to put a tick here initial satellite images that we have used to extract that water body right click here you can turn on the image analysis go to windows and enable image analysis select this shape file trusted file or this one and you can see this icon here transparent swipe layer click you can see the change of the color change of the icon here 
Right here you can see how it has been extracted. Right? So this is an additional tip for you. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you learned something new. Hope you saw something new. If this video was useful for you, please don't forget to hit a like for this video to motivate me. I will make more tutorials for you. If you have anything to ask, please comment in the comment section. I will be there for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for future notifications. I will be back with another video for you soon. Till then, take care and goodbye.